Hey my dear students, this is unit 4 and because it is the last unit in the curriculum we are going to study only the grammar. Okay, unit 4 deals with the conditional sentences, the second and the third conditional. Let's start with the second conditional. Of course you know, you know well the form of the second conditional. It is formed with F plus the past simple would be less the infinitive and of course you know that we may use could or might instead of would the second conditional always deals with an imaginary situation it is about something which is unlikely to happen it refers to the present although you find past simple in the form it refers to the present or future for example if you lived in paris you would learn french quickly of course you don't live in paris now and you can't learn french quickly now so it refers to the present you know well that we can use where instead of was with i he she and of course it and the if clause can come at the end of the sentence for example you can say you'd learn french weekly if you lived in paris okay let's move to the third conditional of course you know well the form F plus the past perfect would have plus the past participle. The third conditional always refers to something which happened or didn't happen in the past. It refers to the past. For example, if you had left earlier and of course you didn't leave earlier, you wouldn't have missed the plane and of course you missed the plane okay of course you can use the f clause at the end for example you can say you wouldn't have missed the plane if you had left earlier remember well that the third conditional refers to the past and it always re refers to something which includes criticism or regret if I say uh, if I had studied hard 
I would have got high marks. I try to express regret for that. Nadam, I didn't study well and they didn't get high marks. You understand? The mixed conditional. It's a mixture between the third conditional and the second. The form if plus past perfect and would plus the infinitive. It refers to the present and to the past. For example, if she had gone shopping and of course she didn't go shopping, we wouldn't or she wouldn't have an empty fridge now. If she had done something in the past, the result would be different now. Right? So it refers to the past and the present. Another example. If I had studied hard in the past, I'd be able to do well in the exam now. So it is a mixture between the second and the third conditional. Okay, have you heard anything about the inversion? The inversion is a form in which we express conditional sentences without using F. We use another, we use other words. We use other words like should, where, and the hat. We use should in the first conditional, where in the second conditional, and the head in the third conditional. For example, if you study hard, you will get high marks. Instead of using F, we can use should. You can say the previous sen sentence like this. Should you study hard, you will get high marks. So the word should here has come instead of F. Okay, in the second conditional, we use where instead of F, like the following example. If I were rich, I would buy a brand new car. You can say the sentence like this. Were I rich, I would buy a brand new car. So the word where has come instead of F. The third conditional. If I had seen him, I would have told him. You can use the word had. The previous sentence can be said like this. Had I seen him, I would have told him. Of course, I didn't see him and I didn't tell him. The word had has come instead of F. This is what we call the inversion. Okay, pay attention. You know well that the word unless means if not. So, if you find F in the negative form, you can replace it with the word, replace the word F and the not with the word unless. For example, we'll have a barbecue unless it rains. I mean, if it doesn't rain. There are a lot of words that can be used instead of F to give the same meaning. For example, as long as, on condition that, provided that, and so on. Like the, the, the following example, we can watch the film as long as it's not too late. As long as 
has come instead of the expression as long as has come instead of F. You can say on condition that, right? Okay. Okay, let's do the following exercises together. Number one, you learn more money, space, you work hard, think and decide which one, of course, letter D, as long as you work hard. Number two, space you told me earlier, I would have helped you, right? Had you told me earlier? The third one. Had I studied hard, I space high marks. Third conditional. Of course, letter C. I would have got high marks. Now it's your turn. Think and decide. Okay. Number four. Yes. The answer is, where are you? Where are you means if I were you. Number five. Of course, if I met, letter B, this is the form of the second conditional. The last one, space you had helped me, I would have done nothing, of course, unless you had helped me. Thank you, my dear students. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, my darling students. I wish you the best. Goodbye and good luck.